What is going on YouTube? So, what we have here is a Mora Classic 2-Aught. This knife belongs to my buddy Carl. Carl wants a new handle and a leather sheath for it. For somewhat obvious reasons, this sheath, it's either very hard to take out because you can't really grip it, or you leave it in there just barely, and as you move around, it falls out. And seeing as how Carl keeps his knife particularly sharp, having it fall out is a bad idea. So I'm going to try to get this handle off in one piece, uh, but I, I want to be real careful about not damaging the blade at all. Oop, that's working a little bit. So far, this is working. I'm just tearing up the collet, which I'm not worried about. There you go. I picked up a couple of different pieces of wood from a couple places with an idea of what I had in mind for uh, the handle on this knife. I was looking for something that was really highly figured but with the handle being as small as it's going to be, um, I had to pack in a lot of figure in a tight space. My first choice was Winge, and my lumber yard was closed today for the holidays. So when I went by there, that was a bust. So I went to another place that was open, and they didn't have any pieces of Winge that were big enough without me buying a $50 board. I have to see if I have a piece floating around somewhere um, and if not then we're gonna do something with one of these alright guys so here's what I came up with after digging through my empire of dirt here but you have a ton of grain in a little tiny area just super high contrast in the grain on Wingay if you guys aren't familiar with it at all and I love this stuff for that the problem with it is it's really prone to tear out and splintering you gotta be real real careful with this stuff if I do a stack design I can get Winge in there somehow so I'm a brainstorm on that for a bit and the magic of you know video editing you guys won't have to wait for the brainstorm because my brainstorms I'm kinda slow up top so they take a while Carl don't worry buddy I got a brand new one coming. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't actually have the camera on it while I was doing it. I had this in the vise with the leather like you saw before. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, I did not have it in the vise up to here and pry on it like I did with the handle. Um, like an idiot, I put a screwdriver tip right there. I had it up like this and I put a screwdriver tip right here and tapped it <laughs> one tap was all it took uh, so yeah so there's a brand new one coming so Carl buddy you get a brand new knife with a uh, new handle and all that stuff but uh, yeah so now there's enough tang here for me to do this job and You'll never know that the tang was broke. That's just not the kind of guy I am. So, uh, this one is for practice now. Yay. Practice. We love practice. Yay. Alright guys, so what I want to do, I want to take this piece right here and see if I can get that clip off without breaking it so that I can figure out how to do it with the new one when it shows up. So, that was it right there. This is what I should have done. All right, so now I know how to get that off.
So, this saw blade right here, little jigsaw blade, is almost dead on. It's a little bit smaller than the very base of the tang. So rather than messing with the heat treat on this, I'll just use this puppy right here to burn it out some, and then we'll check the fit. a pop and it wasn't the metal I think I think I just cracked this blank see that Alright everybody, so it is a new day. Um, so I did a little bit more digging around. I think I'm going to change my plan for this just because I'm frustrated as hell with this whole plan. I do need to get the uh, epoxy off of this, so uh, I'll be doing that. But, did some looking around and I came up with a reasonably sized piece of wingay that I missed in my previous search. So this is actually really thin, but on such a small knife, I can sandwich two scales and it'll be perfect thickness. So I've got enough here to do about eight of these so I can mess up a bunch of times. stuff is really brittle and splintery so you just you gotta be real careful when you're doing stuff like this with it it's real easy to mess up especially when you mess up as often as I do all right that's a snug fit so it is off center, but we'll just sand this side down so that it's even. Alright, so you guys can see here really clearly why I chose Wingay for the handle here. This high contrast, really high contrast. 
very busy grain structure. Uh, you just get a whole lot of bling with Winge. I'm going to be trying a water-based poly on this handle because when I made this marking knife, I used Danish oil and the oil darkened up all the lighter spots so you can see where you lose that contrast. I mean, it's still there, you can still see the grain, but that contrast is just gone. So far it's not looking like it's going to work for me, but we're going to let that set up. This ultra fast dry time is like 30 minutes. I guess everybody's definition of ultra fast is different, but... So I'm going to give this about a half hour. I'll get the camera turned back on and we'll see whether that's going to do what I want it to do or not. Alright guys, so that is after one coat of water-based poly... And, as you can see, nearly identical result to the oil finish. Yeah, real close. I'm not going through the trouble sand all this off, but it's time for a second coat, which is what I'll be doing now. So, not going to make you guys watch all that crap. Uh, I'll knock it back with some 320, hit it with another coat, wait an hour, do that again, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Alright, so I think that is as good as it's going to get. It does feel nice and slick. You can see the contrast. It's just not as high a contrast as I was hoping to accomplish. But, I think we're going to... I think we're just going to go ahead and finish this thing up. Sharp enough. Alright, let's back out and have a talk. Alright, so the bench looks like a uh, catastrophe hit it right now. But, uh, so I got you zoomed in kind of close. So anyway, yeah. So we got the contrast. It's just not as high contrast as I wanted. The knife is comfortable. It's a full fist grip, just barely. There is a little finger thingy right here not quite a finger guard but I still hate these square endings to the handles right here kind of like with the round knife where I tapered them off or tapered those off I like that a whole lot better um, so I'm not particularly fond of these square endings on the handles but functionally speaking this is a great little knife, I think. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the tester for the real deal since I broke this one. Um, so I think I have a better way to go on the next one. So when I make the next one, uh, if I do it this same way, it'll just be like a really fast clip, almost like a follow-up to this video. But if I decide to go with the stacked layer thing, but, I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet. But anyway, yeah, so this, uh, this was me trying to make lemonade when life gave me lemons. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!